Hello dear friends, my name is Jitendra Bapna. I am a senior solution architect. This is the fourth video in this Open API Specification 3.0 series. In this video, we will going to focus on how to define a security schema in your Open API Specification. So generally, it is possible in Open API Specification, you can apply a security schema for particular resource or even you can apply the security schema to all the resources. So we're going to see those things. So let me start defining my security schema under components. So I will say security schemes. Okay. I will just say tab. Right. And I will give the name of my security schemes, which is client ID. Then I will just define the type of security schema, which is API key. I will say in so in is my header parameter then I will give the name I want a client ID okay I've defined the client ID in same way you can define a client secret we can say go to type I can say again API key in header then I can give name which is client secret okay so i have defined my security schemes which uh, which require client id and the client secret now i have to apply that security schemes to each and every resources or method available in my open api specification so let me there's a tag called security you can use this then you can simply uh, copy this client id so this is the name of security schemes and simply say square bracket same way you can say client secret and you can see the security schema is applied to your api you can see api key is my the security scheme so you can see it is has been applied right now let consider I want to apply a client ID in the client secret only for the get method. For other methods, I need to defy, define a JWT token, right? So for that, I will define one more security schema that is JWT token. Okay. I will define a type. So for this, I will put type equals to HTTP. Then I will define schema. So schema will be bearer and base format. It will be JWT correct and then you can define description or whatever like you know so now what I can do so as I mentioned I will remove this particular thing from here then I can go to each and every method for get I can define us we have something called security here you can say client ID Then you can say enter you have a client secret so for get i have defined my security schema a client id in client secret or post i need to define a security schema which is jwt token again get method i will copy this to instead of writing it again and again i can go to get i can enter okay then for delete again i will copy a security schema from post method which is jwt token let me enter for delete let me go ahead and so you can see that let me verify it so for get method if you see the security schema is API key for post method if you see the security schema will be HTTP correct so you can see those things basically so that is how you can apply a security schema at a resource or at a method level and even at a global level right so basically the purpose of security schema is that like we are saying like this kind of security supported by that particular api or resources or the method basically right 
so i hope you like the video if you like the video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching